Okay, so um, talking about the ish that's in everyone's mind, <laughs> yeah, it's a good summer <laughs> There's a whole, there's a big change that happened actually in terms of fields and brain mm-hmm. when a chat GPT was launched. Yeah. Yeah, so 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 my thing with ChatGPT right is that ChatGPT ChatGPT won't really replace uh, people's jobs in the way that we think. I think ChatGPT is something that we can use to enhance how we how we work. Um, it's not there to replace your job because uh, look at a scenario where someone is doing accounting. Right. I know accounting is one of those fields that has been affected by technology that much yeah. and this is experienced layoffs. But uh, in their day to day, right, they can use that thing as a tool to enhance how they work rather than fearing yeah. ChatGPT yeah. to replace them. Um, so as a developer, right, uh, I know that ChatGPT is there and it can generate and write code, but it can't really replace what I do, you see. But it can enhance what I do. It can help me with some of these things, uh, some of these annoying things that we do as developers that ChatGPT can assist me with. So I I fully embrace AI in the way that it has came, it, it has come. But also <laughs> looking at the future, these models will keep improving. They'll keep getting better. And where we're going with software, these things will most like at some point they'll be able to. It create software that actually works and ship it. It's coming. That time will come. I know that obviously we have to be optimistic and say that our jobs are secure. But then that time will come. And when that time comes, I'll be good for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's what I think. Yeah. I think where, where, wherever there's a new technology trend that is that is, that comes out, right? Mm. Uh, some jobs are taken. Obviously, yeah. But obviously. some are created at the same time. So you should give an example. Okay. Particularly pertaining to ChatGPT. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you should give an example pertaining to ChatGPT because okay. yeah, exactly. uh, that's where the conversation is at. Before I, t- I talk about ChatGPT in particular, let's go back a little bit. Hmm. When you when you look at the internet era. Ah, uh, like people, even if I can't run my computer, I'm not going to have my bus. I don't have everything checked on computer. I'm going to be my secretary. I'm going to run my paper. I'm going to have my school. I'm going to have my computer. 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 But still, that same secretary, I'm going to change what, was, what she, well, he or she was doing. From your paper, from your computer. Yeah. You see the thing? Yeah. So even with this AI thing, mm. My developers, as much they say, good. My tongue for example, my developers, but I didn't develop but I pay a clear duty on your code. I think I'm going to change what instead of you going past the overflow, check out which you track out the trial to bag a code. One way to have a chat GPT. What the bag? What the bag? So, yeah, we will put So, if chat chat GPT is debugging this code, what's to stop it from then actually writing this code? It's a malicious. I get it, I just need it. Ah, so, 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 so that's the thing you're going to like. There was, we were using chat GPT-3, right? Yeah. 3.5, right? And now we have GPT-4. So we, we, we can look at how these models work and that uh, chat GPT-4 is an improvement over GPT-3.5, yeah. right? Yeah. So I think these models, they're going to this place where obviously now they can't, they can't replace us. And I know referencing the example that you gave that uh, the secretary the desk secretary writing on paper. Um, they just changed their job from writing on paper to then uh, typing in a computer. So I'm thinking that chat GPT it's it's a bit of a threat more than that. In saying that yeah. if this thing can debug code, right? Yeah. It basically means it can write code. It basically means that at some point in the future we can give uh, chat GPT a software requirements document. And from that software requirement document it will be intelligent enough to generate code, right? Yeah. To spin off instances. Because uh, I know everyone who's used AWS knows that we basically spin off instances using scripts. This is an AI model. Yeah. It can start scripts, it can provision databases, and then it can write code and deploy jazz. 
what's to stop it from doing all of that in the near future? This is not as simple as just saying we're moving from writing from paper to yeah. then writing on a computer that's not intelligent. Yes, yes, yes. This is a highly intelligent model. I know now that it doesn't have the capability, but that's where it's going. This is an intelligent model that can do a lot of these things. Uh-huh. Right. We yes, have, look we at have, uh, mm-hmm. GPT-4. Yes. Yeah, it's, a, it's a bit scary. Uh, the things that it can do. This one is a fake. Yes, yes. Yeah. It can actually analyze. It can actually analyze. The, you can analyze uh, what's actually happening uh, in your background and tell you what's happening. So yeah. imagine having something like that. Yeah. Uh, even like, uh, for example, mm-hmm. uh, if in an organization where there is a receptionist, yeah. you can replace that. You can yeah. identify a, a, a customer walking in and actually Greece using a uh, voice uh, listen to the to the replies and continue like that. which means we are not going to be having receptionist we are also going to replace some systems like uh, systems that clocks in uh, employees in and out exactly. just put a camera that if GPT will say exactly. no this is Kingsley Kingsley is here to work okay. Kingsley is now going out and then they Easy. just record Easy. So, so this thing, this is this is revolutionary technology, and I know that um, Apple WWDC is coming soon, yeah. and we are all looking forward to mention of AI. Isn't it on Monday? Yeah, it's on Monday, so it's uh, it's a five day event. So, so we have we have Apple, right? Um, and <laughs> so funny thing, uh, Microsoft, uh, they did the uh, Windows with the Copilot, which is a bit insane, but yes. okay. okay, and Google. Uh, the new AI, the Gemini. Gemini. Gemini on mobile. It's interesting. But what happened is that um, OpenAI did a demo showcasing what you just mentioned the day before yeah. to I.O. So it's like AI is taking center stage and we know that OpenAI is, is ahead of everyone. Obviously, they'll tell you that they don't want to take your jobs, but I can see the interesting things that we can apply using ChatGPT. Because if I can access those APIs, like where ChatGPT is recognizing people, imagine what you can do with them. Imagine the power that you can do, like how you can use that thing as a developer. Like how much experience is like the user experiences that you can enhance using ChatGPT. I think we're just going to run from the ear of Google. And then we are, we are using these chats. Replacing, are we not replacing education? Uh, the broader concept of education was why do I need to go to to college if every assignment can be done by chat? Yeah, so 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 that's that's. I that will never means. believe you if you come and <laughs> say that I I I, I learn from 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 chat GPT. So chat what, GPT will be now, now what's the va- what's the value of of learning? I think uh, if you remember, in the in the past, when we used to have those um, when we used to have those uh, Nokia thirty three tens. Do you remember? Like back then, everyone remembered everything. Yeah. Like things stayed in our brains because the phone could do so little. Right. Yeah, you could store your phone number. I could maybe store a date uh, in a calendar to the calendar, right? Yeah. And then an alarm and a reminder. Like you could just write two hundred. Yeah. <laughs> and you could only write maybe two hundred and fifty characters. Yes. So it shortened the thing. That's the reminder. It pop up somewhere. Right? That was life back then, but now we have this life equity. These phones can do so much more. So what we are doing as humans is we are offloading information from our heads to these phones. Remember in high school, you used to know, uh, remember that book, what was the name? Uh, the Student's Companion. Mm-hmm. You would walk around knowing those those poems. Apparently, those, the number on a book. Uh, you, you, well, <laughs> for, uh, but like you'd walk around knowing all of these things you'd know your time table by head you'd know these funny facts mm-hmm. you'd know the presidents of countries right yeah, yeah. but when the internet came and when it was affordable and when we all had smartphones that changed you no longer needed to know who the president of Lesotho was because you just Google. Yeah, I remember Tango with a narrow tango tango of Mumu. I got a bagano butter for Tango Google. Exactly. So, so remember in the past we used to have these arguments where we would argue using the yeah. facts from our heads yeah. before we Googled. Yeah. Right. But now we're in this era where we are offloading what we know to the internet. 
But now it's not the internet. We're offloading everything that we know to ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is now responsible for knowing how to fix uh, an exception in an array you don't know as a developer. And I, I don't know how people are using these things, but I know from Stack Overflow, there's very few people who look at an error or a mistake and find out where they went wrong. Yeah. People just copy the solution. If it breaks in their code, they're happy and they move on. So I, I don't know what kind of people will be created in the future where we do not know these things, but these things are known by AI models, and these AI models are doing everything for us. I think we have a lot to know. As long as we find those, yeah, as long as some of us are stored, we can just go and take. Yeah. So so basically, that's that's changing how how humans and memory work. Like what okay. what should we do? Like how should we approach this thing? Should these things stay in our head or should we say, ah, no, we are removing the responsibility from ourselves and giving it to these models, to chat GPT, to, to the internet, basically. So I think that's a, that's a... Uh, can we, can we say also say that it's a, a little bit in the communication, uh, bringing it backward. Mm -hmm. uh, let's look at the, the WhatsApp, uh, the, the, the AI on WhatsApp, the meta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 You don't need to, to recall what the person is able to understand. You can just take it and say, can you explain this? Explains to you a message. So, uh... So, 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 uh, you know, Google, some time ago, at Google I.O., right? Uh, so in America, there's this issue where there are telemarketers so they call you and they are marketing something to you. So Google announced, um, so the AI at the time, it could pick up this call and basically have a conversation with this person and later tell you what had happened, right? So that's where we are going. And communication obviously will be a problem. But personally, if I could have an assistant that knew how I typed and responded, and would respond to people during the day. Like give that. me a summary. <laughs> <laughs> I would like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, yeah. so we can safely, I'll, so, okay, can we safely say our jobs are safe? Or uh, no? Jobs are just they, going to I think, I think There's a shift in the Obviously, in Obviously, I think there's a timeline to safety, right? There's a timeline to um, how, how, for how long would we say these jobs are safe? Because what's important, our role in, in, in every company as a developer, the role in every company is to provide a solution. So if this solution is being provided cheaply, because you know you're expensive as an employee, like an employee is expensive. They have to pay NASA, you have to pay for their medical aid, you have to, you know, all of those things. So now imagine a model that can do the same job at a fraction of the cost. So as a business owner, because business is about making money, it's not about creating software. Okay. Business is about making money. We make software so that we make money at the end of the day. So if these models reach a level where they can do what we do, they can provision these microservices, they can write this code, they can interact with each other. Because now... I think... Uh, I think that in terms of IT, my bank will pan on face and then I saw no in the budget chip that she would then catch. Third bus are created. What's the end of now? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. A chat GPT specialist. But the chat GPT specialist is replacing five developers. Yes. I know ways. 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 But change it don't go to for a network and play my cables. Then they call this cafe that was a read. Right? Mm. So, on what you walk to us, cafe, one way read it. Yes. So, not so, expense, right? So, 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 no, and, you're not going to call like, it using this. And in, in, in other countries, right? Mm. But so, that DBT member is not for free. It's paid. I don't, you that, that's why I say that uh, it's at a fraction of the cost of fact developers. Because, or, say, for example, this thing, say for example, like imagine the future where this thing can do everything that you can do. Yeah. And you really don't look at yourself as a developer being threatened. Mm -hmm. Look at yourself as a business owner, right? Who wants so a software solution? Yeah. Who wants a software solution? 
would you hire five developers to do this thing over a month or would you hire chat gpt that maybe in a period of one week mm. you are going to your uat they have to say that for, for their own protection but i'm just telling you guys to picture that future because uh we, now we are mainly focused on code generation and everything but look at uh image generation yeah. video, generation. video generation so yes, this yes. thing right uh so i know that uh the cameraman and yeah the videographers like they spend time looking for the perfect conditions looking for the perfect weather the perfect lighting to get a shot yeah, yeah. right but then this model can take a prompt and generate that exact scene with the exact conditions with the proper color grading from a prompt so these things they're doing a lot and they're improving and the the pace at which they're improving is, yes. is very very yes. rapid chat gpt uh 3.5 came out no longer ago i think it was last year now we have gpt 4.0 it can read human emotions yeah, it can and read can, expressions. The fun part, you can give it a screenshot of your website and you write the code for them. Exactly. Yeah. It's able to it's, do that. But does it know how to check the screenshot? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's your assumption. <laughs> that's your assumption. <laughs> but anyway, I think this thing is game changing. Yeah. Very uh, much. Uh, and um, there are a lot of, actually, I've seen a lot of the domains where it has been applied. Yeah. And I think it's, it's good for us. Maybe in the next episode, we drill down in this in those domains and see what can go wrong and <laughs> what can go right. Definitely something will go wrong. Okay. <laughs> yeah, true. But there must be sometimes it may go wrong, but something may go wrong. Mm. Okay, everyone. Uh, thank you for having us uh, today. Uh, I think that's a wrap from us. Yeah. Mm. Thank you so much. See you guys. on the next episode. On the next episode. Like a Is day. Yeah.